Well, it turns out that the environmentalist LGBT ideology propaganda put out by Disney on a strange world is failing so bad they had to actually pull it from theaters early and put it on streaming. Now that is just more embarrassment for woke SJW Disney, but it's the result of what happens when you insert SJW liberal LGBT ideology into so-called kids films instead of actually just putting out entertainment. Plain and simple. See, as the, as the saying goes, you go woke, you go broke. But this is on Inside the Magic. It says, can Disney Plus save Strange World? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, that's not going to happen considering the fact that Disney Plus lost over uh, $1.5 billion in streaming just in the past three months, which is just more of an embarrassment for SJW uh, Disney. But it says here in the article on Inside the Magic, to say that Disney's strange world comes with a tumultuous reputation would be a glorious understatement, considering uh, considered by many to be the studio's biggest financial flop since The Black Cauldron, losing around $100 million at the box office. The film is set to debut on Disney Plus uh, only a short while after its original release. As unusual as that sounds, it has the potential to at least partially save the film's stigma. Well, there could be some doubts cast upon that statement, actually, to be honest. But it says here, continuing on in the article, Strange World has a litany of problems, but many claim the biggest holes is its marketing. Similar to films like Atlantis, Lost Empire, certain Disney fans have pointed fingers at the film's limited advertising uh, for being one of its major faults, but there might be more to the equation. The film is a sci-fi adventure featuring a family of explorers in a bizarre alien world, but it also made some rather controversial creative choices that led to the project's downfall. Uh, that all being said, introducing it to Disney Plus could give it some more viewers with a more accessible platform. Well, again, considering how bad their streaming uh, service is going, there could be some doubts on that, to be honest. But again, this is what happens when you insert woke liberal ideology instead of actually entertaining kids. But continuing on the article, it says, By little exaggeration, the 2020 COVID pandemic changed how we see movies as an audience. The uh, institution of the movie theaters is still healing, and some films, especially Disney's, has skipped the theaters altogether to have much more positive outcomes on streaming services. Turning Red and Encanto both had highly successful re releases on Disney+, Plus, and there was and there is potential for Strange World to do the same. However, the ease of access is, does not absolve the film of its sins as seen by critics. The plot of the film will not change nor will its fractured plot points and woke elements. Logically, this means that those who, have, who found fault with it in the theaters will obviously take the same issues when it releases on Disney+. Plus. However, just because the film didn't appeal to a massive audience doesn't mean it won't win the favor of the right one. Well, again, uh, people aren't going to pay, normal people don't want to pay to see that. And if you put it on Disney+, Plus, it's not going to make a difference other than possibly just leading to more cancellations of people's uh, Disney+, Plus subscriptions. Plain and simple, because uh, considering the fact that once again they've already lost 1.5 billion dollars on streaming, putting more woke liberal propaganda won't help one bit. It will have the opposite effect. The definition of insanity is trying the same thing over and over and over and expecting different results. Or in this case, from the woke liberal SJW LGBT ideology uh, mob, it's actually trying the same thing over and over and demanding different results and calling you a phobe and a bigot and a you know hater if you disagree or don't give them the change they want, the, the uh, different results they want. Anyway, just more of a testament to the fact that you go woke, you go broke. Plain and simple. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.